this is Casey with Countryside Flower Shop and Nursery and we are looking at tent caterpillars today. People come in and say, well I've got this really funky webbing in my trees. This happens most commonly in your crab apples and also in your flowering um, plums. It can also sometimes come in in your flowering cherries, not quite as much, but most common in your crab apples. Now normally we would tell you to just come along and take this off and then spray the branch. But where this tree happens to be on our property, we want to trim this back a little bit anyway. So I'm going to come back and cut this off and then we're going to go open it up and show you the wonderful little bugs that are in it. People say, oh, what is that? It's so gross. And it's really not. But it's only weird people like nursery people that get excited about it and see this is the guys that's going to give you problems see these lovely let me turn my radio down so you can hear what I'm saying see this is the guy that does the damage and what he does is he comes along and he eats the leaves and you can see on the branch here see where there's just the veining left he basically strips off all the leaves. This is a tent caterpillar, and as you can see, it's day t daytime during the light, light hours. He wants to be in the tent where he's protected. He comes out and he feeds early in the morning, right before the sun's coming up, coming up. and then in the night, he, at night, when the sun's going down, is when he comes out and feeds again. So you can spray him, but the easiest way to do it most of the time is just to come along and take and physically remove it. And you notice I got my gloves on because it is kind of gross, but you know, it's not that bad. And you would just take and drop it into the bag. And it peels off, can you see that? Yeah. It peels off most of the way, but you can see there's like lots and lots of little eggs. So after you peel it off like that, then you would come along and you would spray with your insecticide. Something like the 8, the malathion, anything like that. Because you're not going to get absolutely everything. So you have to make sure that, that you spray it so that you get what you might have missed in pulling the web off. And again, if you've got a, got a tree where you want to do a little bit of pruning and he's in the branch where you want something to be gone, just go ahead and take the whole branch, that's fine. But this is tent caterpillar. It's something that you're starting to see at this time of the year. So just go ahead and uh, take it off. Another thing that we're gonna talk about, but I don't have a sample for you, is the pine saw fly larva. Pine saw fly larva is a little larva. Um, and it normally comes on your mugo pines. And they're not very big, they're normally only about like that, but you can, they're very, very easy to spot because as you walk by the plant, they all like stand up and look at you, like they're little soldiers. And they'll all do it like right at once, like they're saluting you. And again, something that's very, very easily controlled, but once you see it, you've got to get it sprayed right away. And again, spray it with your aid, your malathion, any one of your good general purpose insecticides. And now is the time to look for them. They are out. We've had a couple of people come in. I've got these little bugs on my, little worms on my mucopine, pine. And that's what it is. It's the pine saw fly larva. So go out and take a look around and see what you might have. Just starting to try to munch a little bit in your plants. All righty. Talk to you later. Bye.